So I want to show the Tygo custom cage dampeners. These cage dampeners are meant to go on your rear and front receivers. What you want to do first is obviously install your receivers on all four corners. The way that we install them is with our standard Tygo spring. We then put our insert in the spring. This allows the cage to freely float on top of the spring. The cage itself has plugs in the bottom of it. So you have two pieces of neoprene plastic that rub on each other to keep the cage nice and free. So first you install this into the car, into the receiver like that. And then what you do is you install these cage dampeners. And what these, these do a couple different things. One, they prevent a lot of rubbing of the cage when it's inside the receiver from rubbing all the powder coat off your cage. Two, there's a rubber gasket on top of this, uh, this cage dampener right here, which seals the top of the receiver to essentially to the cage, the one inch cage tube. This keeps all of the dirt, debris, all of that junk out of the car. So the easiest way to do it, and you can, it doesn't really matter what direction you put these, you can turn them however you want, whatever you think looks the best. Uh, for what you're trying to do. So you can really put them on in any direction that you want. So I'm gonna put one on all four corners. I'm gonna go ahead and just tighten this one down uh, so that it won't move. And it just has two Allens stacked, one on this side, and then one over here on the other side. I'm gonna go ahead and snug those up a little bit. And then I'm gonna go around, I'm gonna put one on this receiver, and then I'm gonna go to the front. I'll go to the far one first. And I'm gonna put one on this receiver. I like to turn these front ones this way so that the, the logo, the T, is towards the outside of the car. I think it just kind of looks cool. Uh, and put it on like that. And then lastly, I'm gonna put the last one over here on this side and then I'll go around and snug all these down as well. And then I'll show you uh, what it looks like with the cage on it. Now we've installed on all four corners, uh, the Tyco cage dampeners uh, to keep all the dirt and debris out, to stop vibration, uh, all of this sort of protective action against the powder coat, all that kind of stuff. So you can see what they look like once they're on and tightened down with the cage inserted in. Uh, really the last thing to do is you have the spring in, you have your spring insert, you have the cap on the bottom of the cage. And last thing to do is just to put in uh, the lock pin and that's really all there is to it. And that's what the uh, Tygo cage dampener looks like. It's a pretty slick little device uh, proprietary to Tygo.